Hi guys, it's your girl Precious and you're welcome to this episode of Precious Kitchen. Today we are making Ndole, that's one of the all-time Cameroonian classics. So what is Ndole? It is green leafy vegetable cooked in an exotic sauce made out of groundnuts. So, so delicious. Let's get started with the ingredients. First of all, you will need bitter leaf. This is what is traditionally used to prepare Ndole. I have the dried version since I can't get it fresh here. So I've soaked it in warm water so it gets soft and nice before it gets into the pot. Now I'm going to be adding some fresh spinach to my bitter leaf. This is in no way traditional but just because I want that freshness in the Ndole. So I'm going with, I'll be going with about three bags of this. So this is just one to demonstrate to you guys. And then for that exotic flavor we have some garlic ginger and this is crayfish seasoning cubes and I have a little bit of crayfish just to give it a nice kick one large onion I'll be adding some shrimps to my ndole you you don't have to do this at all I just love ndole with shrimps of course here we have vegetable oil we have um, some salt we have the meat I'm using beef but you could use beef feet you could use beef tries any part of beef or you could just use maybe smoked fish or you could add smoked fish to your beef whatever works your boat you know there, there are no rules here just go with what you have and then here i have the groundnuts so these are peeled groundnuts that i bought from a store um, african stores asian stores you're likely to find them there so i've boiled these groundnuts i put in a lot a little bit of water and you can see see how the bit you see has a bit of liquid I won't, I won't be throwing this liquid that you see inside i'll be using it to blend the groundnuts so guys, let's get started with the cooking. So I've, I'm done chopping my meat, goes into the pot with some nice water. And then to that, I'm going to just chop a little bit of onion and keep that away because it doesn't really look good. Now just add some of the chopped onions into the meat. About half a teaspoon of salt. So the meat cooks and it just comes in with a lot of flavor. I'll cover that to boil. So I have some water in my pot over there boiling for the veg. I'm bringing it to boil actually for the vegetables. So when it boils, I'm going to put in some salt and some baking soda. I'll show you in a bit. But first, I'm going to chop my spinach, guys. This is spinach that has already been washed. So no need to wash. I like going with easy things, you know. So I'm just going to, I'll show you how I chop that. That's a little too big. So you just want to get it. Not too small, not too big, you know, just find like a medium there. So I'll chop all of that. The water for the vegetable is boiling, so I'll just put some salt in there. That's about a teaspoon and a half. And then I'll put in some baking soda. This helps the vegetable to like the spinach which is so fresh that's about the teaspoon of baking powder soda by the way baking soda not baking powder this helps the spinach to retain its green color however if you're not concerned about that you could just leave it out and um, what we normally use is akamwa limestone but I can't lay hands on it right now so I'm substituting with baking soda so this is the bitter leaf in the boiled water I'll close this and allow it to boil for about two minutes and I'll put in the spinach. While my bitter leaf is cooking, no. I'll just, these are chunks of onions, I'll grind them together with my garlic and ginger. I have about 10 or so cloves of garlic here and about an inch of ginger which I cook. Nice cold water. And then we blend them. this blend will go to season the shrimp so I'll put that for the shrimp here then I'll just add my peanuts to or my groundnuts to this one and keep blending the groundnuts to be a very the groundnuts to be a very smooth 
paste and you don't want it to be very rough either you just want it to have like to be a little grainy that like um, I'll repeat the process with the rest you know that's the ginger spikes there so but yeah that's what the granules should look like and I'm using about two cups of granules here my bitter leaf is all foamy and I'll just test it to see if it's a little soft because it was really hard so yeah I think it's time for me to put in the chopped spinach just put that in and spinach is really soft so this is not something you put in the pot and you forget you just have to stand close to it because with the baking soda in there if you waste a lot of time it's just going to get so mushy and so that will be disappointing too. there we go I'll just stand here give it a good stir and then we'll strain it so I'm just pouring this into the colander and as soon as I pour it I'll turn I'll rinse it out with really really cold water so I just want to make sure that the water goes round and round and round and round And when it's cold enough for me to handle, I'll turn it off. Then this is what I'll do. I just want to kill it with my hand. So, and I want the two, since I'm using two kinds of vegetables, I want them to marry together. So, I'll just do this. Just do this. Do this. Do this. So. I'll just do this. I'm just killing it so it's it's not like big leaf so vegetables. You just want to kill it to to be absorbed into each other. And then when I, I I'm satisfied with how much I've killed it, then I'm just going to give it a little squeeze, not too much because you don't want to lose the nutrients of that spinach. By the way, if you hear noise, those are my kids and, you know, we just have to make this work with them. So yeah, they're ready for the pot. Let's move over to our pot of ndole right now. My granules are all blended. Look at that. Look at that texture. So, and my meat is ready, nice and boiled. So I'll put the granules in here. If your groundnuts are kind of hard after blending, make sure you mix with a little bit of water before you put so it's smooth, it's not it doesn't form lumps. So I'll just mix this and I'll let that cook. Remember the groundnuts have garlic and ginger in there, so be prepared for the aromata of fuel your house when you get to this point. So when I give that a good stir, I'll let it to cook. While it cooks, I'll prepare my shrimps. So, I'm just going to, oh, I'll use this plate, so I'll just peel it like that, remove the tail, and then I'll just put in my marinade. one so I'll just 
put in a teeny tiny bit of salt. Remember, this is seafood, so you don't need a lot of salt. Just mix that up. And I keep aside. So when you, your granuts are boiling, make sure you constantly stir so it doesn't burn and stick to the pot. And a wooden spoon is preferable. So just look at that. Oh my god, that's white goodness. And it smells so good in here. So I'll, I'm going to go in with my seasoning cube and my crayfish. I'm using the crayfish flavor, but you can use whatever one you like. I just like using crayfish flavored cubes when I'm cooking anything that has crayfish in it. That's just me. I think it makes the food extra delicious. So I'll just go with about half of this one. And I'll go in with my crayfish. I didn't blend them, but you could blend them a little bit if you want, just to be coarse. Maybe you just pause it for like a second or so. But I just wanted it to be like that. Give that a good stir and rejoice because food is about getting ready around here. And then my vegetables coming. Look at the contrast of color between the. Spanish and bitter leaf. Oh my god. So I like to put about half first. Stir. Then I'm going with the other. And just so you know, if you want the written version of this recipe, you can have that on my blog, preciouscore.com. So yeah <laughs> oh my god look at that you just keep mixing until everything is married together and at this time you can taste to make sure your seasonings are accurate um, so I'll just leave that to simmer together for a couple of minutes while that simmers together I'll show you what I do with the shrimp probably my best part of making dole So that has cooked together for about three minutes and look at that everything has come to be together beautifully as a dish and it's time for me to turn off the flames on this other side I'll put the turn it on on medium heat put in some vegetable oil that's probably about a cup but don't you could use more or less you know or you could totally omit the oil if you're not for oil if you're maybe keeping feet or something okay so i'm going to chop some onions so you just want the onions to be long and nice for the Sure that the onions are well divided because I'm not as cute in chopping onions as you can see so I just go back there and I make sure that all the threads are even
Oil is heated up. I went to some my wet hands like boom and it was just giving me like that's the way I test my oil. Not professional, but what can I go do? Onions are going in. Oh my god, this perfume to your dole like this is the final stage of cooking. I'll saute that. Got two minutes and uh, two minutes, one minute. One minute. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Oh, look at this. I didn't take this one off completely. Okay. Hmm. I'll let this cook. Shrimps don't take any time at all to get ready. Once they turn pink and they shrink a little bit, then you're good to go. So I'll let this cook about for about a minute before I flip and then and I'll see how ready that is. Taste that and tell you what I think. So you can eat this with boiled plantain, fried ripe plantains. Boiled plantain can be fried, can be um, ripe or unripe. You can eat it with boiled yam. You can eat it with boiled rice, boiled potatoes, boiled copayams, whatever works your boat. But for now, I'm just going to give this a taste. Tell you guys what I think. Come to me, Lily. Mm. Just the way I wanted it. So full of flavor from the garlic and ginger, a little bit of the bitter taste from the bitter leaf and the spinach just balances everything together so beautifully. So this my friends is how you make the perfect ndole. Thank you so much for always watching it. This was your first time. Thank you and make sure you hit that subscribe button and tell your friends, family, co-workers, dogs, neighbors, everyone about Precious Kitchen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.